go ahead and have a little bit more fun. What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and lightly tap the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button. And in this episode, we're going to be working on the GTR. As you guys saw in the previous episode, this car here is an absolute animal. But we are doing a little continuation uh, episode from the previous one. And as you guys can see, we got some good weather right now. It is fully dry outside so by the end of this episode we're definitely going to take this thing for a solid rip in the previous episode we couldn't put this seat on the vehicle because we didn't have this airbag but we got it in now we installed it and it fits up perfect i'm going to show you guys the footage for that uh, a couple more things we're going to do with this episode is install this oil catch can so this oil catch can we have this piece on the car right now but i'm still going to swap it out because this one's brand new but we have this piece on the car and and let me show you guys two seconds. So this is actually off the vehicle. It's like that. And there's just a hole right there. So sometimes on bumps or like sharp turns, it'll spit out some oil and that's not good. So we got to install this oil catch can as well. We did get this rear control arm here uh, because when we took it to alignment, it was bent. And this is one, one control arm for the rear that is bent. Besides that, um, we do have a reservoir here for the coolant, coolant reservoirs in, it got cracked and damaged during the accident. Just a couple of minor things like that. We're gonna work with the car and shout out to LND Solutions. I told you guys in the last episode, they're the one that stitched this one up right here. Uh, this is the original seat cover from the vehicle that we pulled off, sent into LND, and um, they fixed it up and sent it back to us. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll show you guys the quality of work. If you guys have not seen any videos on the M6, we just revealed a red M6. Go ahead and check those out also. Brand new video coming out, very first video on my new channel called Garage Rebels. I'll link both uh, the channel and the M6 video down below. Let's get started. So we went ahead and got the airbag in and we realized we actually don't have hog rings or hog ring pliers. We go to our local store, get some, let's get it. Yeah, so basically, took out piston number three since it was knocking. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Uh, so we just drove around a couple of stores. We don't have it in stock in any of the stores, but when I was doing my blue GTR seats, I did have some leftovers, so my buddy's gonna bring some over later on today. But let's go ahead and install this oil catch can. Not too sure if I wanna change this just yet because it's kind of annoying. You gotta get a size 10 and then down there, there's some tough access. So I might just leave this one since it's already from this kit, but install the oil catch can up here, however it goes. Let's go read some instructions and get it done.
as you guys saw there, we went ahead and finished that oil and air separator install. Oil catch can, I guess. Um, right now, we got the hog rings right here. So they look like this. These are kind of big, but we'll make them work. So like that. And then we got our hog ring pliers. So they look like this. Some cheap stuff, but it works. I did it with my other seat, and I just went ahead and tightened them with some regular pliers since they're a little bit big. Let's go ahead and start putting the skin on here. Um, we did this a couple weeks ago, so see if we can reverse the order of operation and make these fit perfectly. So we got the seat all finished up and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this side here. Basically wherever it's hard to access since this is gonna be pointing to inside the car. Uh, clean this all up. Seat is all done, looks really good. You'll never in your life tell that this thing's ever been sewed up or stitched up or anything that was done to it. Um, but I went ahead and vacuumed inside there so it's all clean there. And clean this side up as well. But yeah, let's drop this sucker in, hook it up and see if everything works. See how it feels, anything poking you, you know, any kind of metal rods inside there that I missed possibly, I don't know, we'll see. Let me show you guys that control arm. That's bent. Everything's fine. All right. All right, so. There's that one. And see if I can get it opened up. Here is that one. Ta-da! That's literally it for this. One control arm. Let's get it installed. Alignment is perfect.
so we got some dry roads now and sucks this is this not turn on we would have shown the speedometer here but ready it was 90 like that mexico location undisclosed just <laughs> but that was 90 that was 90 guys look just look at the speedometer come to the speedometer ready i'm going from let's go from 20 ready you good yeah and go Dang, 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 dang. That just peels all four. That's so on dry. It's good weather right now. It's literally probably like 65 outside. Like that's pretty good. What a what a feeling dude. Just like airplane. Well, uh, steering wheel's a little bit to the right now because of that control arm we just we just changed, but guys i have to race this car against the rs3 i have to the rs3 is much lighter it does feel a little bit slower but i'm not sure i'm really not sure because this one's just spinning you know and spinning ain't winning so i'm not sure yet my rs3 puts it down like i get three one zero to sixty on the dot every time three one three one three one like that thing is fast fast and very um continual meaning like you know it's very how should i say the word consistent consistent it's very consistent it puts down three one consistently but i'm not sure about this car although it feels ridiculously fast just ridiculously fast i mean oof. let's go have a little bit more fun then drop this thing off for the alignment basically the seat is in interior besides that door panel is all in so very happy about that only thing we got to troubleshoot is what's going on over here i feel like just the connections under the seat to the amp are having bad connectivity or something and that's that's to do with this so we'll see we'll see because it's like intermittent it turns on sometimes and it doesn't turn on sometimes and I'm not sure what's going on here as you guys can see the dash here has no lights whatsoever besides the airbag and the triangle the triangle is from the airbag so we have a clean dash meaning no you know sensors no abs light no brake warning no check engine light nothing like that very happy about it let's go ahead and have a little bit more fun and um I'm excited to get this thing back together. I'm excited to get this whole entire car painted and make it back to its showroom condition. It is very, very close, and this episode was kind of an annoying one um, for me because the seat was kind of hard to stretch and install all that stuff, and the catch can was kind of annoying to install. It wasn't too hard, but as you guys saw, we got all of it done, so happy about that. I like to go down the check mark list um, and get all this kind of knickknack and teeny things out of the way, so basically all we have now is to do body work and paint the car and then assemble this door. So very little amount of work left next episode we're gonna be doing the prepping and um body work for the vehicle so let's get it <laughs> let's get it not much more not much more about 85 percent down with this vehicle it was a, it was a good project it's kind of sad to see it come to an end but it is what it is onto the rs5 and then m6 and we also got a couple more um cool builds here coming soon these are going to be a little bit more unique style um a little bit cheaper but they're gonna be fun what exactly? Huh? For five seconds for launch control. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! <laughs> I'm not expecting that. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the, the size of this tire mark, literally two solid tire marks, just about like 200 or so feet and it just keeps going and going. And I was upshifting to catch traction. This thing is just absolutely insane. This is asphalt, so it grips better than just regular cement as well. Woo, that is crazy. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're gonna go ahead and take the car off to alignment right now. And that's gonna be a wrap for this one. Next one, we got body work. Next one, we got paint. Next one, we got assembly. And then probably the fourth video, we're gonna be doing some racing up against some of our bills that we have um, down at the shop. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
I might make a video of like a, what's it called? Um, a reaction video of just getting, I don't know, random passengers or random strangers to test drive or something. This thing's a beast. I'm excited it's all finished up uh, mechanically now. Let's get it dropped off for alignment. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be sure to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and I'm out.